Let me mention some specifics. Uh, first, with respect to our economic relationship, we agreed to step up our work toward a high standard bilateral investment treaty that would help level the playing field for American companies. We've committed ourselves to a set of principles for trade and information technologies, including protection of innovation and intellectual property. President Xi discussed his commitment to accelerate market reforms, uh, avoid devaluing China's currency, and have China play a greater role in upholding the rules-based system that underpins the global economy, uh, all of which are steps we very much support. I raised once again our very serious concerns about growing cyber threats to American companies and American citizens. I indicated that it has to stop. The United States government does not engage in cyber economic espionage for commercial gain. And today, I can announce that our two countries have reached a common understanding on the way forward. We've agreed that neither the U.S. or the Chinese government will conduct or knowingly support cyber-enabled theft of intellectual property, including trade secrets or other confidential business information for commercial advantage. In addition, we'll work together and with other nations to promote international rules of the road for appropriate conduct in cyberspace. We have agreed to deepen the practical cooperation in various areas at the bilateral scope. This includes, we have agreed to vigorously push forward the uh, bilateral investment treaty negotiations, speed up the pace of the work so as to achieve a high standard and balanced agreement. We will expand mutually beneficial cooperation in energy, environmental protection, science and technology, aviation, infrastructure, agriculture, health, and other areas. The two governments and relevant agencies have signed many cooperation agreements, and our businesses have signed a series of commercial contracts. China and the United States are highly complementary economically and there is huge potential for further cooperation for the United, for the United States to recognize China's economy status and ease export control on civilian high-tech items. It will help expand the mutually beneficial cooperation between the two countries. We have also had in-depth discussion on the current international economic and financial situation. We have agreed to step up macroeconomic policy, coordination, and jointly promote global economic growth and financial stability. To this end, we have established the mechanism on regular phone conversation on economic affairs between China and the United States, which will be led by Vice Premier Wang Yang of China and Secretary of Treasury Jacob Liu. They will stay in close communication on respective and global major economic issues. We will also step up cooperation within G20, the World Bank, IMF, and other multilateral mechanisms. I appreciate the U.S. supporting including the RMB into the IMF special drawing rights when certain standards of the IMF are met. And I also appreciate the U.S. commitment to implement the IMF quota and governance structure reform plan adopted at the G20 summit in 2010 at an early date. We have fully affirmed the new progress made in the confidence building mechanisms between the two militaries. We have agreed to step up exchanges and policy dialogues between the two militaries at all levels, hold more joint exercises and training. We believe that terrorism is the common enemy of mankind, and we have agreed to step up multilateral bilateral counterterrorism cooperation. We have decided to Increase communication and cooperation on counter-terrorism, humanitarian assistance and disaster reduction and international peacekeeping operations, and also anti-cooperation, law enforcement cooperation to jointly fight against all kinds of transnational corruption and crimes. We have in-depth discussion on the situation of the Asian Pacific, and we believe that China and the United States have extensive common interests in this region, and we should continue to deepen dialogue and cooperation on regional affairs and work together to promote active interactions and inclusive cooperation in the Asian Pacific and work with countries in the Asia Pacific to promote peace, stability, and prosperity in this region.